Well, I think it's time to add a heater uh, slash blower to the uh, CF Moto Z Force Z Force 800. Uh, it's good for winter and summer because in the summer, in the morning, if you park it outside and you get in, the window's all fogged up and you wipe it about 20 times and it still fogs up again. So, kind of a dual purpose thing. And uh, I say we rip this thing apart and see what we can do. There's one. It's awkward to hold everything. bolts put them through there that'll align for the other side there we are okay brackets in it's a plate from the outside that just bolts through I tried to film it and camera wasn't on so then there's a bit of an issue here on the top where they don't give you a plug for this. So we're going to have to see what we're going to have to do with that. Is there any chance of me getting in there? No. So first thing we're going to do is make a they don't give you this cap it's kind of weird and when you see the instructions it shows a cap on it so I don't know what's going on all right let's see if we can cut this out
the old Makita drill's getting tired. Chuck doesn't seem to hold very good anymore. like a champ. Now I need one of those little sideways type wrenches. challenge after the next. How about a Milwaukee screwdriver that's 13 mil that I just had to ha happen to have. I'd say that's friggin perfect. So the impossible challenge is done and mounted. Now we gotta take that upper cover off. So get set up for that. This cover just comes off with a 10 mil. Ah, it's got the sound of cross thread. I don't know whether these screws in the front have to come off. all this stuff that's the relay for the wipers right, next thing is we got to take off this little heater box or whatever you would call it and I'm trying to get all these plastic plugs out without totally destroying them Oh my 
Listen. to do some service on this, I guess, after we drill out the top, but that's the spooky part, so I have no idea, and that, that thing there, you drill through that, and it's not a good day, so, read some more instructions, not a ton of room in behind there, lots of stuff. So I'm hoping that that's a good spot, but I don't know, can't go over any further up because there's like some kind of bolt thing there. So. That's a hole. <laughs> yeah, right. There. Look in there, it's completely sealed. As you can see. So, now I gotta see what's next. Foil tape on there. So I had to be right on the edge, and this is not the correct flange for here, but I'm going to make that work. Just got to bolt it down.
can give you a view. Maybe I'll get a flashlight. Which is was right here. I'll use this one. So you can see way up in there, got it around over the fuse box and down there. And that's that one there into the cab. There's a little space down there. And comes out here. Oh, there's the light. And up through there. So now we just gotta tie into that back there. Pop this cover back on to get some stuff out of the way. And another one. Solid. Next. Not those screws. Oh, I gotta drill a hole for the cover underneath too. Uh, gotta find the bolts for the top. Screw that on. Trying to find a place to put the uh, control for the fan, and they were talking about here, but the only clear spot is actually up here. So, I'm going to put it up here. The hard part is there's these tiny little pins, no jig. I made a jig, but just slightly off. Now we gotta reach up and under the dash. And feed. 14? Yes. How tight you tighten that till it's too beyond its limits. Let's say that tight. And then the flat side is there. That works. It's in a good spot. Now I gotta put this switch. And I gotta hook it up first, so I actually gotta drill it. Put that bad boy right there. Sure, let's keep drilling holes. Let me find out what size it is and bring it back. Drilling holes. So, let's put these wires up through here. And cut off.
Let me get a pair of cutters. These is positive. Bottom one is positive. Middle is we'll put blue. And top one is negative. Let me grab a pair of pliers, tighten that connector. I'm a big fan of push-on connectors. I like everything soldered, but... It's barely holding. There we go. That's the difference between fitting and not fitting. There you go. I will tape it too. Baby, baby. How about that? I say yes. I say that worked big time. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna run some wires over to the other side and we'll reconvene at the heater. So the next phase now is to hook up the water lines. They have just little black caps in here, rubber caps, so you gotta carefully pull those out. So it says, but it doesn't seem like that's the case. if they're plugged or whether they're open. Let's just see. Before I pull them out and realize, no, it's a cap. Hmm. They don't seem to want to come out very easy. You hate doing stuff like this when you're not 100% sure and the instructions are pretty poor. They're just like little poorly drawn sketches. So, okay, so next thing we got to do is hook up the uh, valve to the one at the back.
all metric clamps too. Let's see if that's push on. Hazards of trying to film. the thing they talk about putting this thing perfectly uh, vertical but if I do that I'm not sure I can get the pipe this pipe here to go from the bottom to here without hitting this so I think the plan is is just to put it on a slight angle yeah and try and drill through that here. I guess I'll have to drill a small hole and then do all the other holes from the outside. So let's give that a try. So it's just a hair, but Let's see if that's enough. I think so. Need a little template. So we're going to angle it a bit. Maybe I'll push this through here. Maybe not. Oh my gosh. should fit. Okay, now we got to bolt that bracket. A little bit 
tight. There she is, all goobered up. I don't know if you can see it or not. Like no matter where I put the light. So they didn't have the right bolts. I don't know what the deal was there. And that is a 11 mil. And of course, I didn't check the bolt to see if it quite fits the hole, which of course it doesn't. Have to go for the wrench. Wow, that one sticks way out. I may have to cut that one off. Maybe not, once you put the hose on there. Alright, that's plumb. Plumb that in now. So, next thing we gotta do is cut some hoses. These pipes are holy. Right. This bad boy. Can you go there? is outside the cab. Right. Next, you have to put the plastic over top of the supplied heater hose. Put the slider on. Oh, 
about breaking the fitting. And is that clamp going to be in the way of the other hose going on? And that will be a no. Okay, I'll go do one more and on to the next. All right, let's make a mess. That's got to go in there. As soon as I cut that, I'm sure it's going to flood out everywhere. Ooh. Yep. Bit of a mess. Not horrible. Stop some of it anyway. No. Really? Really? Right, clip that. in the garage now. Yeah. I really want to get that uh pipe on better. Let me see if I can get you set up in a better spot. Get 
see how much she's on. Yeah. I mean, all the barbs are covered, so let me give her kind of a last attempt at That's her. Leaking everywhere. Where do I take the top one off? Or the bottom one? Which one goes to which one? Does that seem oh, yeah. Here we go. Messy, messy, messy. See if we can get this thing in. I don't know. Does say bottom to the bottom. Let's make a mess again. Up, I guess.
uh, topped up the uh, rad with uh, coolant and just sort of checking for leaks. I'm gonna have to check this. I think they said five times you're supposed to let the air bubbles out and top it up. I don't know if I can squeeze it and get any more to move. Barely. All right, take it for a test run, see how it goes. Okay, so I'm gonna have to take the hose off here again. And uh, put the cover that goes in here. Or I cut around it, I don't know yet. Kind of hard to make that removable with all this wiring here, but we'll figure it out. So this just feeds in behind and then plugs into the heater. There we go. That plugs into here. Part of the harness and that needs to go around the back. It's got a hook on behind the pipe. side here to clean up the rest. saws make good holes but what is it ever jam Up. Put that in there, and 
we gotta tape it in. Just get some tape around the perimeter of that. Although I might leave it loose. A little bit of air leak is not so bad because that is going to blow into the cab anyway. And that's everything put back together. So now it's road test time. All right. So it obviously hasn't warmed up yet, so we'll have to go for a little rip, but uh, switch on. Turn the vent on. a bit but we got it up to two bars and that's toasty warm in here when I was out cruising around so I would say that that is another excess uh, accessible successful uh, install see the gauge is up over here a little bit tight to get in here but I didn't want to drill holes through the stickers and I'm you know like whatever you turn that on turn that on you're good when it's freezing cold out you just leave her on full blast and that's it, and on to the Sea-Doo engine. Next.